Crazy. That's what I heard. Just plain crazy. Heard from who? And who said what? People. Here and there. Just what I thought. Here and there. In your imagination. My sister Maggie worked with Reverend Jenkins many times over the years. And she had nothing but wonderful things to say about her as a pastor and as a teacher. And I've heard her speak many times. She was wonderful. She was funny. And yet she can send you flying into the heavenlies at the drop of a hat. Crazy. Deacon Spires, what do you think? Well, I think we need a pastor. And since our budget is just about zero, no one else seems to be interested. Well, speaking of pay, how much do you think she'll want? Hopefully, not too much. Because I heard that she inherited some money from both her parents and her husband. Heck, crazy shouldn't cost us anything. Will you stop it? Baby, <laughs> something's got to change. Because we keep doing the same thing over and over. And our church is dying. Are we comfortable with that? Then let's go tomorrow and ask her. Face to face is always best. Deacon Spires, you have that casting thing. The rest of us will go tomorrow morning early at 8 a.m. Wow! Somebody sure left us something and plenty of it. This sure is a far cry from Fluke, Louisiana. Maybe she won't ask for any salary at all. Hopefully she won't want the job at all. Well, we won't know one way or the other unless we ask her, will we? I don't know, maybe she got some, look like some cows. So this is where she lives. Mm. Nice house. That's a nice house. I hope she's. Well, here goes. Here goes crazy. Help me, Jesus. She's ugly and crazy. Oh Lord, they both ugly. Stop. Don't rob my dog, mister. He's been militarily trained and right now he's in attack mode, so watch your mouth. I'm going back to the car. Stay put or you'll be eating takeout for a week. Baby. No. Reverend Jenkins, please forgive Deacon Hall, but we are all a bit nervous about being here today. Reverend Jenkins, I'm Mary Hall. This is Mama Scott, Deacon Raglan, and my husband, Deacon Hall. Hmm. Good morning. Rem Jenkins, we're from the First Light of the Southern Light Holiness Temple Emmanuel Sanctuary Church, and we need a pastor. <laughs> I don't know about a pastor, but you're trying to say that thing fast three times. <laughs> Please. I'm sorry, I am being a pill, and I truly, I apologize. A pastor? There have got to be a lot of young deacons or elders or Bible school graduates that would love to pastor your church. The problem is we have a small church and our bank account is even smaller. Wow. So in other words, he was brutally beaten, horribly crucified for us, and yet folk don't want to minister to his people without a big paycheck. Ay, ay, ay. Please, Reverend Jenkins, we're like sheep without a shepherd having no one to lead us. And we've heard some good things about you. Would you at least consider coming to our church and talking with us for a spell? Y'all, I'm retired. And I really want to spend the rest of my life just, just writing. But you don't play fair. You go straight to the heart. All right, how about one week from today, 10 o'clock in the morning? And seriously, I'll spend that time seeking the will of the Lord. Is that all right? Well, one week from today it is. Okay.
I just want to say that dog is not militarily trained. <laughs> and I just want to say that ain't the dog. <laughs> now I'm going to the car. <laughs> if I could just learn to behave. <laughs> Have any second thoughts? Good morning. I'm in here. I brought back these books I borrowed. Mm. You don't look too happy. Anything to do with that car that just left? They need a pastor. For some reason, they decided to stop here. A pastor, huh? Didn't I tell you God was going to call you back to the pastorate? Didn't I tell you he wasn't going to let you spend the rest of your life sitting here writing? Didn't I tell you you're a royal pain in my neck? Come on. I want to hear every detail. Well, listen, I was holding firm, really holding real firm, until this sweet little deacon looked at me real pitiful-like, and he said, Please, Reverend Jenkins, we're like sheep without a shepherd, having no one to lead us. Oh, my heart. And then I saw this vision of a desert and all these little sheep. Somebody just shoot me. <laughs> Stop being so dramatic. Lynn, you were born to minister to people. I've watched you in about every situation. I've seen you go after an abusive husband in a way the couple calls Satan himself to turn and run. The next minute, you were sitting there holding the wife, rocking her like a baby. Your tears were dripping down her head. And I say, I hate abuse and I have such compassion for those that are abused. That's why you need to be in church leadership. God's gifted you with a pastor's heart. You need to get out there and use your gift. Uh. Randy, we sure are glad you decided to meet with us today. See, Deacon Raglan, right? Yes. Mama Scott? Yes. I sure am glad to see some friendly faces meet me because if I recall, you got a deacon and they're real thrilled with me. Well. Ooh, I like that. Well. And don't you worry nothing about him. Listen, honey, I don't care what goes down today. I'm voting no, no, no. I don't want any woman, much less a white one, as my pastor. Really? So, you have any children? I have three children. Three? Yeah. Listen to me, you old goat. Be open-minded for once in your life. You are a blessed man. Yes, God is good. Oh, my goodness. Good morning, Reverend Jenkins. Thank you for coming out and see us. Oh, certainly. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Reverend Jenkins, thank you for agreeing to meet with us. Sure. You said you needed a week to seek the Lord. Did you come up with any conclusions? Well, the Lord did kind of soften my heart. But I think we just need to spend some time getting to know each other. I mean, we have a pretty concrete decision to make here. We agree. But would you mind if we asked you a few more questions? No, not at all. Well, I just have one question. Hmm? Why did you get fired from the last church you passed? Lamar, I told you. I didn't get fired. I resigned. And it hurt me terribly to have to do so because there were so many people in that church that I dearly loved. Why did you then? Simply put, I wasn't the pastor for them. They were stuck in their decades of traditions, and frankly, I found that an utter waste of kingdom time. A waste of time? That's a pretty harsh way to put it. Why do you see it that way? Short version, and truly, I, I don't mean to offend anybody, but we spent days and weeks in pastor appreciation, deacon appreciation, church anniversary, and Lord, help us during revival season. It, it was just on and on and on. See, I told you she was going to cause trouble. Deacon Hall, please give a chance to explain. Go ahead. In all those meetings, only one time did I ever see anybody get saved. And not even one time did I see anybody get healed or filled with the Holy Spirit. So for me, it was wasted kingdom time. Let me tell you something, lady. Deacon Hall, sit down. No, no, no. That's all right. That's all right. Deacon Hall, 
There is something you can tell me. Exactly what is your problem with me? Come on, spit it out. You're white, and you're a woman. Well, now, 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 come to think of it, you, you got me there. Still, I think I can solve this problem. <laughs> What's this mess? Okay, now, your turn. Give me a little sniff. Oh. Right here. A I told sniff. you she was crazy. I told Sniff. See? Problem solved. In the dog world, you and I now best buds. <laughs> <laughs> she got you there, Dee. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm so sorry. We love your mama so much. It's Alice, Jeannie's daughter. Jeannie is dying and she's acting oh, no. so scared. Mm. Jeannie is our only white member and she has been with us a mighty long time. Jeannie wants to know, can our pastor come right over? Her mother just screamed in fear. We don't have a pastor. Please, Reverend Jenkins, would you do this for us? Fear is no way to die and Jeannie deserves to die in peace. Are you people nuts? You gonna send Looney Tunes over there? Reverend Jenkins. Do they know that you don't have a pastor? Jeannie does. Alice doesn't attend church. Please, Reverend Jenkins. Jeannie would just want to hear from someone who knows how to reach heaven. Then I'd be more than happy to go. Good. We'll take my car. I know where Jeannie lives. I have a business meeting. But Dick and Hall, Dick and Raglan, they will follow you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here. If you're going to let your feelings toward Reverend Jenkins get in the way of doing your duty as a leader in this church, well, then maybe we should reevaluate your position once we return. Man, are you serious? Well, I agree. Lamar, I'm your friend. But leadership requires duty and compassion above personal feelings I'll do whatever needs to be done for the good of God's house. All right, I'll get my car. Thank you. Alice, this is Reverend Jenkins. Hi. Guys, I don't know what's going on. You know my mom, she's always been so religious. You know, talking about Jesus and God and all that kind of stuff. Tell us what happened. I don't know. I mean, one minute she's perfectly fine. She's happy. She's ready to die. The next minute, she's just scared. Just really, really scared. Alice, dear, I'm so sorry. Somebody do something. I mean, this is awful. Alice, would you mind if I go back and spend a little time with your mama? I guess. How about if I go back there by myself? You know, I think it might embarrass her if everybody sees her like this. Jeannie, I'm Reverend Jenkins. I'm interviewing for the pastorate for your church. Why are you so afraid? It's my daughter and my son. They don't know the Lord. Who's going to pray for him when I'm gone? Who's going to lead him to the Lord? How about if I promise you that I'll pray for them and I'll reach out to him and we'll see what the Lord will do. He does love them, you know. I know. Thank you so much. I sort of sense there's something else bothering you. Will I make it to heaven? Oh, for goodness sake, yes. You have served the Lord faithfully. This is the time for your reward. This is to be a time of joy, not of fear. Hmm. Then why am I so afraid? It's just that old devil trying to steal your joy. He's trying to take one last pot shot at you because he knows that you are about to stand before God Almighty and hear those most wonderful words. Well done, you good and faithful servant. If you want me to, I can get rid of that fear for you. Yes, please. This is easy. There's no problem. And I'll be back in just a second. I gotta have a little conversation with the source of that fear. 
Demon from hell, you listen to me and you listen to me real good. Jesus you know and you know me. You know I'm a woman of the Most High God and inside me dwells the fullness of the Godhead and all the power and authority that they bring. And so now in the name of Jesus, I command you to get your hands off this saint of the Most High, get out of this room and don't you even think about coming back. Do you understand me? In the mighty name of Jesus, Back. It's gone. Fear's gone. Of course it's gone, sweetie. And now, in peace and joy, you are about to enter the wonders of eternity with your Lord. I'm so excited for you. Can I come with you? How am I going to get there? How am I going to get to heaven? Well, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And then there are those who Say they've had a visitation, a report that an angel escorted them. <laughs> it is an angel. And I see my parents. They, they were so happy. <sighs> oh. Oh. What is it? I see. I see my other son. I had another son. I lost him in the womb. I, I, I didn't even know he was a boy. But he's smiling at me and waving. He, he called me mom. I have a son waiting for me. No, no, don't go. No, don't go. Honey, honey, no, 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 no. They haven't gone. They're just a little out of sight, and they're waiting for you. I, I want to go with them. Oh. Then you go ahead and go. Jeannie, your work here on Earth is done, and there's a wonderful place waiting for you. There's a place, oh, there's a place where there's the Father, the sun and the precious Holy Spirit in that place in that place Father I thank you for this precious life and I thank you for the beauty of a godly home going. Oh, Father, you take my breath away. You are so wonderful. I can hardly breathe. I've never seen such a sacred moment. Please call her to my side when it's my time to go, will you? And she'll be there. She's not going anywhere. I can promise you that. Well, how'd it go? What can we say? We can say that we have just witnessed the most beautiful, the most sacred moment in the history of our church. I'll never forget it. And I've been changed. She will be our pastor. Wait just a minute. With all due respect to the current situation, our bylaws state that the vote must be unanimous. And I still vote N-O. Let me tell you something, you obstinate old man. We just saw the authority of Christ in that woman. There is such power in her. Yet such tenderness. When's the last time demons fled at your command, Mr. My Way of the Highway? Listen, stop talking nonsense, woman. My vote is still no. Then my vote will put you and your no vote on the sofa. Deacon Hall, I have respected you for years. Not because of your character, 
but because of your position. Now, you respect my position as mother of this church, and you listen to me carefully. She may not be as other ministers, and she may be a little crazy, as you say, but after witnessing what we have today, I believe she is anointed of God and that she has been sent here to us as a special gift. I'm sorry. I, I've never been one much for going to church. I've never you know, needed it. But I think I'm ready to try. Oh, bless you, child. Reverend Jenkins is the pastor, right? 